Hi, I'm Mark from AP War History Report. I will talk about Herero and the Markov genocide. First, let me give you an abstract about this event. In 1904, Herero people in Southwest Africa, where it is now um, Namibia, rebelled against German colonists. However, they were defeated by the strong German army. The Namakar people, another native tribe um, in the German colony, also rebelled, which led to the same fate. During and after the war, many Herero and Namakar were murdered by German. Um, before moving to the main part, it is important for you to know about the background information. Uh, Namakar and Herero were the two biggest tribes um, in the colony. They have rivaled for natural resources such as land and food for a long time. But since they had similar military and economic power, these two tribes restricted each other but maintained equal. However, Southwest Africa became the colony of the German Empire from 1884 until 1915. German exploited most of the natural resources and forced people to work for their farms or factories, which raised the anger of native people. By 1903, 3,000 German colonists settled there, further disrupting the social and economic balance of the territory. Um, you can see um, the green part here is the um, German colony in uh, Southwest Africa. Um, here are the causes of rebellion. First, colonists forced um, Herero, who were traditional breeders, to convert to farmers or workers. So, um, German could maximize economic profits by employing these low-cost laborers. Next, colonists occupied lands of Herero people and planned to relocate um, them to designated places which were not suitable for stock farming. And German even planned to build a railroad uh, which will encourage more immigrants to invade the lands. Also, Herero um, had no ability to pay back the uh, aid with credit colonists support them in the 1890s when much of their livestock um, were killed by the epidemic. German took the rest of cattle. Um, in addition, extreme racial discrimination from German colonists towards native people raised the anger of Herero and the Malcolm. Of course, native people thought their natural rights um, to manage their own lands and business were deprived. To restore um, life without separation in the past, people decided to rebel. Starting on the 12th of January 1904, the Herero killed 150 German. And let's take a view to the, of the leaders of the rebellion. The leader of uh, Herero was Samuel Maharero who was commanded to the paramount chief of, of the Herero by German colonial administration in 1891. The Namakra leader was Hendrik Whitboy. He was born in 1830 in the Cape Colony. Hendrik's father was the chief um, killed by his sub-chief, Paul Wieser. Hendrik later revenged and killed Paul, becoming the new uh, leader. Hendrik allied with German to resist Herero at first. But in 1901, viewing German brutality, he changed to fight against Germany with Herero. In 1905, he was killed in a battle. And next is about art and literature. German colonists produced picture uh, postcards displaying in particular the concentration camp. These postcards were sent by German soldiers to mother countries. Also, many novels and books were created to praise how brave German soldiers were. The most popular one was this, Peter Morse, written by um, this German novelist, published in 1906. I can't read uh, his name, it's um, German. And um, this book attained a print run over um, 400,000 copies. The ideology of this book even became the uh, propaganda of the Nazi. The book was um, distributed to the Eastern Front uh, in 1944 to encourage the German army. Then its labor system. Before the rebellion, colonists employed local workers at low price, which is an 
indentured labor system. After the war, they captured all survived natives to the concentration camp and forced them to work in farmlands or factories without pay, which was a kind of slavery. And the economic concern is that um, local people wanted to maintain traditional stock farming instead of working on agricultural or industry, which are economic structures favored by German colonists. After the war, um, however, the Herrero was our force to work for German colonists under their economic system. Okay, political structure. In 1883, a German merchant established a trading post in Southwest Africa. Soon, the German government set colonial administration there in 1884. Given the monopoly to exploit mineral deposits, the administration suppressed the natives and deprived their natural resources to support the mother country's German empire. The natives wanted to get rid of German colonists and build a self-governing countries so they would not face the exploitation. However, you know, the movement failed at last. Um, next is about ethnic class and women's role. Um, German colonies thought white men were naturally sub superior to the black. They thought that seven Africans were, uh, were e equivalent to a white man. Therefore, they took land from the natives for granted. After the war, German anthropologists even visited the concentration camps to conduct uh, race experiments. For instance, 300 scouts of Herero uh, were sent to Germany to prove the inferiority of Africans. And women's role, most of the women did not participate um, in the war, but were captured by colonists and sent to a concentration camp after the war. Many women were raped or made into concubines, and many died there because of hard work and diseases, such as typhus, smallpox. And um, religions belief. Herero believed one supreme God. Cattle were considered a gift from God. Um, people always sacrificed them at big celebration. So I think this uh, might be a cause that uh, when a German took all their cattle, Herero were extremely irritated. Then our results. German Imperial um, commanded General Lothar von Trost to uh, lead a troop with 14,000 soldiers to defeat the protesters. They were well organized um, and had strong weapons. So the rebellion failed. German killed every Herero man they saw and captured children with women into the concentration camp. Some people fled to the desert, but um, Germany cut down all the supplies. Soldiers guarded the boundary of the desert and even poisoned the wells. Many people died there, um, about 65,000 to um, 100,000 Herero died in the movement, taking up 75% of their population. Later in October, the Namarqua also rebelled, which led to a fate similar to that of Herero. And there um, were about um, 10,000 Namarqua died. Okay, finally, I will talk about the effect. For Germany, it consolidated their ideas that the white is superior and even incited the claim that Aryan um, is superior, superior to the other races. They gained abundant um, coarse labor and lands to support industrial, economic, and military growth. You can see a huge increase in the GDP of Germany through the data here. It even reinforced the German confidence and interest to compete with other European countries to gain more colony. These two effects, uh, these two reasons might be a cause for World War I. For Herero and the Marqua people, their population decreased sharply and the economy, economy was devastated. But it also warned and encouraged many other African tribes to unite, fighting against imperialism and racial discrimination. All their rights and interests will be encroached by colonies. Okay, that's um, it. Thank you for watching my presentation.